Methinks A.J. Brown has a point. Over the last two seasons, Tannehill has been a top five quarterback if you use QBR as your metric. As a matter of fact, only Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, and Drew Brees have had a better touchdown to interception ratio in that time. And when it comes to accuracy, only Brees has a better off target percentage than Ryan Tannehill. All those sound good to me. So, Damian, the numbers speak for themselves. Is Tannehill deserving for more love as a top 10 quarterback in the NFL? Absolutely, and I've been saying that now for a while. Like, I don't understand why people aren't giving Tannehill more love. And, and a lot, I know a lot of it has to do with Derrick Henry and, and everyone thinks that Tannehill just, is, it just feasts off of Derrick, of Derrick Henry, but Tannehill <clears throat> goes out there and makes it happen regardless, okay? That marriage between him and Arthur Smith was just beautiful. And now you adding Julio Jones into the mix uh, in, in that offense just going to make him even more deadly in the pass game. He's very accurate. He's athletic at the quarterback position. He makes smart, deci smart decisions, particularly in the red zone. I love his game. Yeah, I agree. I think Ryan Tannehill is a top 10 quarterback. And I think the Titans offense is going to sustain – the level of play they have over the last couple of years, despite losing Arthur Smith, you mentioned the offensive coordinator, Corey Davis, Johnu Smith, some turnover on the offensive line because of the addition of Julio Jones. I mean, he's that much of a factor for me in terms of moving the needle on this offense. Now, Todd Downing is a new offensive coordinator. He does have a, a challenge ahead of him. He has to figure out what are the elements of the offense that we want to retain. Uh, you want to play to Tannehill's strengths, the deep shots off of play action. Those aren't going anywhere. However, your personnel has changed. Now you've got two incredible, two number one wide receivers who cannot be singled up. You have to rebuild your offense around those two guys. You're probably going to see less 12 personnel with the departure of Johnny Smith, meaning the two tight end sets. I think you're going to focus on hunting mismatches for Julio and A.J. Brown, which is something that Ryan Tannehill is very good at. Um, you know, I think this offense has the potential not only to be as good as they've been, but even better. Uh, Mina, if the Titans offense does have problems this year, they're all good problems. But the defense might just have problems. <laughs> have they done enough defensively this offseason yeah. to help get them over the hump? Field, that is the question that I think will determine not whether the Titans win the division, but whether they can do more than that in mm. the playoffs. Because I mm -hmm. think they should win the division, especially with the uh, challenges Indianapolis is facing at the quarterback position. But this is a Titans defense, the pass defense in particular, that was frankly awful last year. Total dearth of a path, pass rush. So they go out, they sign Bud Dupree, as you see here, add Janoris Jenkins and Caleb Farley to the secondary. And, and I think really because this deep offense could be so explosive, the defense just needs to be average at stopping the pass. They just need to not be one of the five worst defenses in the NFL. And if they can achieve that, I think then you're looking at a team that has the ability to actually seriously make some noise in the postseason. And you are wisely pointing out that the Titans appear like the comfortable favorites in the AFC South right now, in part because their stiffest competition, the Colts, are dealing with a pair of high profile injuries. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.